boy is just elevated. Yeah, Especially yeah, if you know how to do yeah. your job and you, you ain't ramming that thing and then I put the rose on that thing. It's, ah, what are you at? What are you at? Oh my goodness. Look, let's be clear. I ain't never took a loss. Every time I go shopping, I ain't got to check the cost. Still independent. Still my own boss. Still got bad bitches coming out they draws. Keep the beat up like a motherfucking Frito. Lucci flame hot like a motherfucking Cheeto. This is not an act. I am not Don Cheeto. Slut a nigga out. Treat him like a free code. Yeah, you heard right. I'm a whole ass gangster. Made him eat my butt. I ain't even say thank you. What's up, Lucci gang? It's your girl, Lucci V. And welcome back to my channel. I'm back. With another T with Lucci V episode, yes, episode 20. She laughing at my intro. You ain't never you ain't never watched my YouTube videos? I never saw that intro. You never I this the same intro every time. So she don't watch my YouTube videos. Sorry. And I be watching her back. I ain't never watching the battle ever again. Now that I said battles, y'all already know I have the number one battle rapper in the world. Yeah, I said it, I stamped it, I don't care. Jazz the rapper. Hey y'all. <laughs> Jazz the rapper. <laughs> <laughs> y'all we about to get into some tea tonight okay so yes, if you would are. like to see the tea between her and me then stay tuned to this video right here but first make sure you like comment subscribe with that notification bell ding 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 follow both of us on instagram which will be across the screen right here and yeah let's go ahead and get right into it okay so before we get into the gossip and the tea around the world. You know I like to get into the tea with you first. So tell us what's been going on with you. We saw you make a post on Instagram saying, hold up, wait. You traveled across the country and packed up and moved. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. How does it feel to be living in Cali now? Um. So yeah, for those of you that don't know, I'm from Brooklyn and I'm born and raised in Brooklyn. Packed up, went all the way to LA. Um, I was really just, I kind of just wanted a new environment. Um, the main reason was the weather is too damn cold. <laughs> I'm here now, Chicago, and it's freezing. So it's like, damn, like I left <laughs> New York just to come back here, but you know, I had to see my girl and all that. So, do you feel like it's like a complete change? Like everything, like the people, the vibe, like is it like completely different it's than being in Brooklyn? It's different, but it's similar just for the fact that it's a pretty big city. It's not as big mm -hmm. as New York, but it's so many people and there's so many mm -hmm. things to do, right? So, but if I was to move to somewhere like New Orleans, it would be a big difference because it's so small. Mm -hmm. It's not as diverse, like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's the same because I'm getting a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. but it's different because got the weather the vibe is not the same it's yeah it's like so much more chill and, mm -hmm. and cali to me like everybody like gives stoner vibes yeah. <laughs> so like it's, it's, yeah, so it's something about being out there that just feels like i'm cool as hell mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm so i love it though um i've been to la enough to really understand what i was getting into i'm not going back to new york so you're not homesick or nothing at all like you <laughs> like she like not i travel home. so much that it's like i don't even feel like I lived there yet. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you, you I are only a, been there a month. You are Miss Catch a Fly. January, relax. Miss Catch a Fly. <laughs> Y'all, I called her Miss Catch a Flight the other day, and she thought I said she was Miss yeah, Miss, and, Miss a Fly. Oh my gosh, I'm saying, <laughs> y'all, I'm saying Miss Catch a Flight like she's guaranteed to travel and be on a flight somewhere. Like you look up and this girl's in a whole nother city. Like that's what I'm saying. I'll be missing so. Let's talk about the difference in the men. Like, are you feeling like the Cali men versus like, or are you kind of missing like that? Cause I don't know, I feel like New York guys kind of got like a a rougher, tougher swag. Like, come in, ah, you know, dear, uh, to than like the Cali yeah. dudes. Like, they're definitely different. Um, I don't, it depends on the type of guy you talk about when you talk about aggression. Mm -hmm. But I think just New York people are just more so more aggressive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the women too. Like, yeah. Y'all be damn it. Yeah, you hear me. Yeah. I even like I had like me because I travel so much, it's like I started realizing, damn, maybe I am a little aggressive. Mm -hmm. But it's not like, at least for me, it's not so bad that it's unattractive. Because you do have women like that. Yeah. But the men, um, you know, like it's the swag is different, the way they talk is different. Um, 
the way they look is different, the way they dress is different. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're really just stuck on your type, your city of men, yeah. then I don't know how you would feel about Cali men. Mm -hmm. But even when I moved, I was like, I don't see me dating a guy from LA. Yeah, it's like, LA dudes be looking good, but it's like, it's so, I, I don't really like the way they talk <laughs> and stuff. Like, they talk, they all talk like blue face to me or something. Like, I just, oh it be kind of like irritating me, but like, they be looking good though. Like, they be cute, but it be like, ooh, hush, baby, ooh. Yeah, you it's like, they yeah. you're a buster. You're a buster. Like, yeah. all that, the way they be they talking like that, like, like that. I be like, they baby, what? Like yeah. So, now we got into a little bit of your business. We about to talk about these trending topics and everything that's going on. And I've been meaning to talk about this. Let me tell you guys, I filmed this episode of T with Lucy V already a week ago, but I was rushing through it because it was date night. But I was like, oh, I still gotta get him a T with Lucy V episode. But then I watched it back. I'm like, you could tell I'm rushing. Like, this is not the tea to be given to them. So I'm redoing it real fresh and it worked out perfectly because my girl came into town. So yeah. But anyways, I wanna know. How you feel about these golden showers that everybody's talking about? Like, are you team golden shower? Or you oh, you already shaking your head. Like, you ain't what you would never try it ever. Either way, like vice versa, like you doing it or him doing it, like you wouldn't even do it. I feel like if I'm doing it, I feel like if I'm doing it, I even gotta be getting paid a hefty bag. <laughs> <laughs> and if I'm not getting paid a bag. I gotta really love this nigga, but I'm not like if it's somebody you've been in a relationship for a minute, you love him, and yeah, it's just gotta, and gotta, he just like man, this is really my king. Like, this is really my king. Yeah, like I want like, that. Like, yeah. and I'm the type like like everything ain't for everybody. And but it absolutely would not happen with him doing it to you, no, no matter what. Like <laughs> you like, look, I might can do it. Well, you can. um, I, I just feel like I'm too silly. I'm not gonna lie. Like I can't even. Like, first of all, you're not doing it to me. Like, I don't want it to happen to me. But if it was like, okay, my guy Kink was like, yeah, hey, I need you to do it. I feel like I would be laughing. Like, I don't feel like I would be able to yeah, spray it. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you aiming at? Like, is it going to be spraying or was it like straight? Like, well, some of them, I, I've read, I did a little research. And I read that some men like it to be on their chest. Oh. And then some like it to be on their face. Like, I guess it's like the warm sensation that feels good on them. Like... I was trying to understand, like, y'all, I don't kink shame because yeah, it may shame. be things that I'm into that people might be like, oh, no, you know what I'm saying? So I really try not to kink shame, but certain things I do be like, I don't know, like the people that like to get threw up on and stuff like that. What it's like, I, spit? I don't, I tried it one time. I don't like it. And I That's only tried it. And I ain't mind it. I, I only like, tried it because it, I knew that that was what the guy I was talking to was into. So I was like, all right, but I was like, I never yeah. again. Like, the and, person I did it with. It was, he never did it, I never did it, and he was like, spit in my mouth, and I was like, okay. See, the dude has spit in my mouth, so maybe if I did the spitting, it'd be different, but <laughs> I was the catcher, and I was- You were the spitty. You yeah, I was the spitty, <laughs> like, I wasn't a spitter, like, maybe if I was a spitter, but still, I just don't really like to spit. <laughs> now he just texted me, he knew we was talking about the spit, like, <laughs> he knew. Oh my God, hey, friend. But um, it's like, I don't, I'm not really like a, I don't even like when guys eating my cat and be doing a lot of spit on it. Cause it's like, this motherfucker already <laughs> wetty. Mm -hmm. So why you need to do all the, you don't got to spit shine, baby. It's, it's cool. Like, but people been like really going in on, cause I don't know. It's like so many people since Young Miami admitted it. So many people been, well, you know, I'd be doing a cold shower too. I'd be doing a cold shower too. Person. To say they like something. But I'm not going to lie. A lot of men with a lot of money, they into that. Like. Yeah, what is that about? Hmm. Maybe it's a degrade, like degraded thing. Like, I got this money. I got this power. See, you didn't finish. You didn't finish on you. But no. there's something going on like that with you. The dude on there likes to get peed on by the workers. So I, and he was saying something like, so they, the workers could be the one in power right, instead right. of him, so like yeah, it kind of degrade see, him. It got to like, with power, bro. Yeah, it got I'm to like, with power. I'm like, that's crazy. Know somebody, that's. See, and I feel like I really won't judge the people that do the pee, but when I be seeing people like, what is it called? Scat, scanting or something? When you like the boo boo on you? Like, I just feel like. Now I, that's just mental illness. <laughs> 
<laughs> no mental illness. That's different. Yeah, because I'm like, the smell. Yeah, that's that's. I different. feel like would turn me yeah, off. I feel, like I, would pee. Pee. I feel like with pee. You, you could drink a lot of water. Pee. Yeah, you could you drink a lot of water. As long as I ain't no asparagus for the day. <laughs> well, when you, it don't matter if you eat spinach, if you vegan, you shit is shit, bro. It's still shit. Yeah, it's like, and then I was reading that also they some men like it to be on their chest, like the boo boo. So that's too close to your nose, man. Like, hey, no way. Like you still gonna wanna get get it cracking after the, the dookie nah, happened? Every everybody listen, man. <laughs> we not king shaming. <laughs> if you watching this and you like to get the skin or scat, that, whatever it's called. Yeah. More power, more power to, to you. you. But I'm it's just saying, I don't can you explain in the comments how you get past the smell and continue with the make cracking sure. action? If you like, make an anonymous account comment. Like we I'm just curious, honestly, because I don't know anybody that's into it, but I've seen it and I've read about it and it's just like flabbergasting mm -hmm. to me because I just feel like the stank and even me just seeing it. Like, so you be watching it come out the book. All right. That's, <laughs> that's outrageous. So how do you feel about toys in the bedroom? Are you? I don't have to experience toys in the bedroom. No I toys at all? Like not even like the rose, a little vibrator, a little... A little something, something. What are you opposed to it or no. like? Cause I know I read that some men be feeling like, oh, well, if she got to bring a toy, it yeah. make me feel like I'm not doing my job. But that's not the case. Like I'm gonna tell you right now, the toy is just elevated. Yeah, Especially exactly. if you know how to do your job and you, dang, you ain't ramming that thing and then I put the rose on that thing. It's, what are you at? What are you at? Oh my goodness! You gotta give it a try, sister. I'm trying to I'm tell you. It. I'm not against it. I ripped my own wig off, okay? Do you feel me? Oh, but it was, yes, it sends you there. I'll take you there. Okay, I'm trying take to see that. I'm trying to, to okay. Is, uh, Let's go. Uh, you gotta get the look. Do you have a rose? You have a try one? Uh uh. Girl, I can't. Do you, do you own any toys at all? I just have a vibrator. Like what kind? Like a bully or like what kind you got? A long one. So like a dildo? It's not a dildo. It got like the little pointy head. Yeah. Girl, that yeah. old school ass vibrator. Girl, that 1999 ass vibrator. Girl, when I brought it. What? Girl, you gotta get with the times. That old school evaporation. No, you not even coming Man, I for real. Man, I'm saying bad stuff about the rose. What they be saying? Like that shit I'll take you in the room with the rose shit. right now, sister. <laughs> and show you what it's about, okay? What they were saying. Like it caused like cancer or some shit. Girl, they say everything caused cancer. They drinking out of straw caused cancer. Putting a wig on caused cancer. Like <laughs> drinking water caused cancer. Y'all they say everything caused cancer. I'm a cancer. Like, girl, they just Everything. How do how do rose cause cancer by vibrating your cat? Or like something like it make you lose sensation. I don't I don't know, man. They say that or with every too much. they say that with every vibrator though. They not they be saying like it make it harder for a man to make you you know bust at once you get too used to the vibrator. Hey, I be using that thing every day and I still be <laughs> coming coming. So they lying. Them girls oh, be lying. they probably be using it thirty eight times a day. They ain't got no man though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be putting that on us, baby. <laughs> Do not put that on us. So, before we get off the freaky topic, this is something else I saw people randomly talking about on Facebook. Period sex. Are you team period sex? Are you team put the towel down? Never. Or are you never? Would you ever? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Look, you talking about some what, the last what when I be on the last day? On the last day when it got a little drizzle? Like, no, I'm talking about full body. No. Bloody, not that last day when it's I like little be, spot. I don't even be wanting to do nothing when I'm hurt, so. Really? I be feeling like I'm the horniest at that point. Like that first day, nothing, bro. it's like that first day, I don't feel good. But that second day, rinse. yeah, me too. That first day, but then that second day, it be like. My, <laughs> first, my second day be the worst. <laughs> Rinse, flow. I don't See, it be the day anymore. before for me when I really get it bad. Like really that whole week before I be. In excruciating pain. Girl, yes. Y'all like, so crazy how everybody's different. Mm -hmm. Like it's so crazy. 
I be knowing. Second day, be hell. I be knowing when I'm finna when it's finna happen because that week before I just start feeling terrible. I feel like I want to cry over everything. Like I be like, up oh, in a week it's finna be happening. I could freaking tell. But are you like opposed to a dog? Like if your man Honestly, was on some like, I'm over my I'm head. On. I'm more reminded about a lot of things. Would you be like a put the towel down kind of person or oh, put us in the shower kind of person? Shower. I'm not going to lie. I don't like shower sex. Do you like shower sex? It's I don't decent. like it. It's like, it's I feel decent. like I'm too tall. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? It's That's like, right. I, be, I don't have enough room. Like, you're small. You're, yeah. you're a miniature gal. You know what I'm saying? So you can <laughs> I, 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 get folded like a pretzel in that thing. Me, I'm tall. I'm five seven. So it's like... Me and a big nigga in there, it's like, come on now, like, we just, yeah, 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 it ain't enough room, like, I don't like it, like. Yeah, I think, I don't think I'll feel more comfortable in the shower. Just but, so it's like, not there. Yeah, just so it don't feel I've only like, did it one time, and I was the put the towel down kind of gal. Was you, like, skeptical, or you was like, fuck it? Um, I mean, it was my first time doing it, so of course I was kind of like, oh my gosh, but it was like, he, my boyfriend at the time was like, man, I'm really horny, bitch, I need a little room. And I was like so young in my man, I was like, oh, I don't want to turn him down. And he goes to cheat on me. Oh, what day was like, it for you? What day? Um, it probably was, I was full on. I was full blown on. I, oh, I was full I on. I don't know, man. I was full it's, blown on. And he was so scared. Like, I feel like it's going to smell. I'm like, first of all, baby, let me tell you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, he never did it. Uh-uh. He had never did it either. And he was just like, I feel like it's going to have a smell. And I'm like, I'm trying to tell you, like, on my period, don't be having no smell. Like, so we did it. And... I don't even want, I hope my friend don't watch it because I did it at my friend house and we had like panicked and like snatched all the sheets off the bed and like threw them away and all types of stuff. And my friend, mama was out of town and she came back home like, one of my sheets is missing. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he wasn't supposed to have no company over. Mm -hmm. Of course, I had threw a tampon away. She was digging through the trash, investigating. Like, there was a tampon in here. So, some a girl spent the night. Like, it was oh so much. God. But I say all this to say, like, I haven't done it since that one and only time. And I was, like, 18 years old or something like that. But my guy right now, he sometimes be saying, like, I ain't going to lie. You're going to have to. But I've been on the depot shot, so I haven't had a period in, like, four months or whatever. Wait, what's that? The um, birth control shot, depo. You don't get a period? Mm-mm. So I haven't had a period for, like, four months or whatever. But mm. when I start back, it's like, I ain't going to lie, on that, on that final day, when it's real light, I'm going. I don't care. You you went before on the light day, didn't you? Because that's why you asked what day. Yeah, it was a light day. <laughs> I mean, it's like the light day. I feel like you could, as long as you don't eat. I mean, well, unless you like, uh, unless you like raw steak, <laughs> unless you like your steak rare, <laughs> you can go on munch and crunch on that. Like, oh, yeah. I'm really sure any nigga that 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 give heads and had some butter in his mouth. But and then I saw. Okay, so I did not notice until I got in like a relationship with a female. Like, cause y'all know I've been eating cat for a long time but i had never really had like a serious girlfriend relationship and i did not know until i did that lesbians be still getting it cracking when they on a period like they put the tampon in and eat the cat around the tampon that's smart i had told her i said i ain't gonna lie i don't think i'm gay enough for that sister i ain't gonna hold Why? you i'm not i'm not finna i didn't want to do that <laughs> <laughs> Thought of it, I don't, and I didn't want no. I don't want nobody doing. I don't want nobody eating my cat while I'm fully bloody. So it's like, but it's a plug. There's no blood. Oh, some. Is there such thing as leakage, sister? Put that new tampon in. It might go leak. I don't like it. I don't. I didn't like the thought of it. Mm. And then it's like I can't even really do that thing. How I wanna I I heard, do that I, thing? I heard about that too, and. Um, when I did my dating show, you know my dating show, Just for Jazz? Mm -hmm. I had two girls on there. And one of them was like, yeah, she just brought it up. I think I was telling like, tell me a fun fact about you. And she went straight to free flow. Like, yeah, I love eating pussy. Woo -woo. I eat it with the period. But all of us reacted like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> y'all thinking just straight yeah, blood like, mode. Whoa. 
Like, oh, you a vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even want to explain it. I'm like, oh. Honestly, like, I'm with that. Plug that bitch. Damn. So, would you let somebody do that? Pl you plugged up? You a left anything? You like. Oh, no problem with that. You told me some shit. I'm going to do this. Okay, so let's get into some reality TV tea. So, we're going to talk about, about Baddies West because I see all y'all. As soon as I posted, me and Jazz going to talk. Y'all, talk about Baddies West. Talk about Baddies West. So, we're going to talk about Baddies West. Now, first of all, let's get into it. Let's talk about favorites and least favorites so far because I will, I, in my last video, I did talk about favorites and least favorites, but huh, things have changed since people have got a little liquor and all that stuff in them. So, let's start with you, Jazz. Who's your favorite and who's your least favorite on the Baddies West cast? My favorite, <laughs> you gonna be tight. <laughs> Oh, nah. That's your favorite? She's my favorite. Go ahead and say the name. I forgot her name. Dougie? <laughs> <laughs> Not Dougie, <laughs> Biggie. Big, 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 big. Yo, she from Rhode Island, son. I know Rhode Island is on from New York. Nah, I think she's my favorite because she remind me of home. She remind me of New York. But like. Oh yeah, people from Rhode Island, they definitely be having that accent, yeah. Nah, but her voice is deep too, though. Yes. And she's Dominican, so she got the mix she of been, everything. She sound like she ate a Timberland boot. Like, it's really yeah. ridiculous. Now nah, she's one of my favorites, and I also like, um, I, I think I, I think I like Southern Girl. I think I like her. I think I like her. I can see why people wouldn't, just because she has an attitude. But she just seemed like somebody that stands on what she say. Mm -hmm. And how I feel is how I feel. I don't want to hear this bullshit. She had a low tolerance for bullshit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, I don't think in real life I would be friends with her. But she's one of my favorites. Just because she stands on what she say. Who's the least favorite? I think I know. Mm. <laughs> Oh, wait, you did say who was going to Yeah, you did say My least favorite is Tommy. Yes, Tommy. Just because, listen, I'm not a reality TV person, so I don't know who none of these people were before watching it. She had to put me on until we were. <laughs> um, I just think Tommy too goddamn old. <laughs> <laughs> That's my only gripe, like... Like, and it's so weird because yeah. I, I know Natalie Nunn is not that young either. Mm -hmm. But her and Tommy about the same age. Right, but Tommy just gives. Yeah. Tommy, when the camera be going up close, you really can see, like, her age eating away at her, I feel like. And then it doesn't help that when the girls get the fillers and stuff at such a young yeah. age, when you start to get older, it looks crazy. Like, yeah. my favorite. I'm not going to lie. From the first episode, my favorite was Razor. Then when she got drunk and was going crazy, like, no. <clears throat> I like Stunner Girl. I don't care. I, I rock with Stunner Girl. Like she said, I feel like she stand on what she say. Like, you know, people was trying to bully her and jump her and all that. She still was hey, doing her little thing. What else she be doing? And she be going crazy with Tommy. Yeah. Tommy was she was like, that shit was ass. Yeah. My least favorite is Biggie. She is irritating to me. I feel like she be trying to say a little stuff to get camera time. Like, the beefs don't even be having nothing to do with her. And she be yeah, inserting yeah. herself. It just be really irritating me. And then her voice, big, big, he, uh, uh, like, Donkey Kong is here. Like, I don't like it. Like, it be irritating me. Like, I, she is definitely my least favorite. Like, I can, I can see that. Yeah, she do be, like, making her little comments, speaking out Spanish and shit. I feel like this season is better than the last what is it, two seasons or three seasons? However many, this is the best season. But I feel like they are still drawing out these episodes so long over like one scene. It'd be like one scene for 45 minutes. Like, I don't understand. Like, for real. <laughs> like, it just be like, like, don't nothing else be happening. Like, on another show, they would have went to lunch, went skydiving, had another fight. Two girls with a uh, uh, lick the cat body in 45 minutes. It's like a 45 minutes. We sitting there in the same kitchen with the same two girls arguing. Like it's that's the only thing that blows me. But I do feel like this season is the best one. Um, 
Now, a lot of people want to know my opinion on the Razor versus Scotty situation. And we watched that episode together last night, actually, with the whole tattoo thing and Scotty violating her. I just feel like Razor didn't like Scotty. And that's just period. I, I I mean, you pulled your, if you, I just feel like this. If you feel like, oh, this tattoo is something sacred and they don't want to show it. Why did you pull your own pants down and have your whole bare ass like, out on that, yourself? You want to see my ass just say that. You want to see my ass just say yeah. that. Yeah. Like, you ain't want her to see your ass, so you should have kept your pants up. Yeah, and then it you was like. You said to me, you violated. She's like, tell me what I said. She was okay with Krishan, like, you saw Krishan go up her thing, yeah, like, yeah. It, she was okay with... And then she, when she started sobering up, she was like, yeah, I have favorites. I have favorites she was looking at Krishan. So now yeah. you just like, yeah, bro, you just being extra. Because, like, I'm not trying to, you know, if somebody feel uncomfortable and they got their triggers or whatever, no disrespect to you, but it was just like, why was Scotty the only one that made a trigger? And even the other girls was in the confessional, like, we was touching her more than Scotty. So it's like, it's giving, and then especially, it really gave the truth when they was arguing. And she was she like, was you're like, Max, I got yeah, your yeah. friend. You're Max, I'm like, yeah. yeah you like, really. She was never mad at you, bitch. Yeah. You know it was like, you really gave away that it was just, you don't like Scotty. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's nothing more to it. So, yeah, basically, like, I just feel like she was making it seem like Scotty was jealous of her and Natalie friendship, but I think it was the other way around. She wished she was tighter with Natalie, you know what I'm saying, like how yeah. Scotty is. And then, I just feel like if Krishan and Tommy looking at you like like you're crazy, you really must be crazy, sister. Yeah, that was funny. And then, um, on, the, on the last episode, we had the Stunner Girl and Tommy in the kitchen situation. And people was like, oh, Stunner Girl wasn't letting her get through. Like, I don't know why people acting like they don't remember. They acting like Stunner Girl's delusional about her coming behind her and throwing this drink. I know Tommy be drunk as hell, so she probably don't remember. But I watched the, the clip. I saw that. I saw her come behind her and throw the drink. So do I feel like Stunner Girl could have not did it at their first photo shoot? Yeah, of course. I feel like I would have been blue. You know what I'm saying? Because I know how it is to do a reality show. Like when Lowe was like, they was rushing us. Woo -woo. That's really how they do. It's like a whole bunch of hurry up and wait when you film in a reality show. You know what I'm saying? Like. They'll be rushing you like, uh, you gotta be dressed by 11 a.m., da da da. And then you really don't start shooting until 4 mm -hmm. p.m. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know how this goes. So that would have been irritating to me, too, if I've been up and I've been dressed for all these hours yeah, and then somebody mean, come in and ruin everything. We yeah. don't get no work done. So I understood why it was like irritating to them. But then I understand, too, like, Stunner Girl is a young girl. She from the hood. Like, you see on her page, like, this girl been locked up. She talk about, you know, so she live a ratchet lifestyle. So she probably wasn't thinking, like, oh, let me be considerate to everybody else and their time. She on time and, like, I'm going to get that. I yeah. Gotta, so I'm getting that bitch back in the Yeah. She I'm like, I need my lick. I need your lick back. What yeah. Razor said, get your lick back. Razor, get your lick back. Because you did all that picking on Scotty. And she bink, 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 bink you. Like, and I feel like she did all that toughness because she know that Scotty is always verbally saying, I'm not a fighter, I'm not a fighter. You are now, Scotty. Welcome to the fight club, sister. Welcome to the backers club, girl, because you be fighting now. Like, and I seen that, I seen on the clip that she's going to fight Natalie. And it's like, I just feel like Natalie is so, Ooh, Scotty, Scotty, yeah. Mm -hmm. Natalie is so bogus, though. Like, she does that, like, she picks the fight with people that she's the closest friends with because she knows that they're not going to want to fight her back for real. So she, oh, okay. you know, she like... Really ask you that's my friend. Yeah, it's like, girl, that's so petty. But, yeah, I feel like Stunner Girl not wrong for wanting her lick back. Don't come behind me and throw no drink on me. Period. Me, I'm way older, so, I, you know what I'm saying, I probably wouldn't have handled it that way, but... You understand? It is what it is. Like, don't, don't put your hand, don't put your... She tried to run up behind, like... Come on, then Tommy completely lied about it. Like, oh yeah, I didn't do that. So she was like, when that footage back? Yeah, and the footage shows you. Tommy oh. said, Tommy literally said, I know it took a while, but let me see. Like, she really can't believe it. Like, you think I'm that girl that's gonna sit there and lie about you? Too drunk. Now, we see that Natalie and Tommy, they have this boxing match coming up this weekend. Um, the undercard for Floyd Mayweather. They in London already, and they already getting into it. Now, this is how I feel. 
I could be wrong, but just me knowing Natalie and how she gets down, I feel like it started out as something fake. And now it's getting for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the beef with them, the little fight, tussle, whatever. I feel like it started out as fake, but now it's turning for real. Mm. And I'm just so disgusted with the stuff that Tommy said about Chris Brown, baby. Because it's Wait, like... Okay, so why did she say something about Chris Brown, baby? Okay, so apparently Natalie got them backstage at the Chris Brown concert. And it was a little room. And I guess Chris Brown, baby, you could see him in a little room. So Tommy ran up like, oh my gosh, the baby... And the baby mama closed the door because she didn't want nobody, you know, to touch the baby. They said Tommy start banging on and kicking the door, saying, fuck that baby and all this and that. And has to be, you know, escorted out. Roly and them, the, I guess, Chris Brown team, the men start trying to fight Roly and Natalie and Jonathan from the Bad Boys Club and all that. So it turned into a big thing. And then she got on live the next day. Saying F that baby, ass cock like a pistol, all that scared of the baby, like, mm -hmm. girl. See, that's, why that's, that's why she my least favorite. Yeah, it's like, come on now. And it's just like, it's not that serious. Allegedly, because I, I don't want no no lawsuits. Allegedly, she be half. And I don't care what nobody say. She give half abs. And I ain't talking about well, off no weed. I think I saw an Instagram video on live. Mm -hmm. She was with some people. Mm -hmm. And she was doing something. And like, I forgot what happened in the video. It was a guy though, that was like, gas up. And they was like, Tommy, we on live. And she was like, I don't care. They all be, they all was saying you be off the perks, sister. I think you be off perks and book of sugar. I ain't gonna lie, I think it be the combo. But you ain't heard that from me, y'all. Me either. <laughs> allegedly, we gonna say allegedly, but how you feel about the fight? Like you, I, I feel like the boxing match. Like I feel I like just, that's gonna well, that's be like definitely a just yeah, that's definitely just for the bag. But it's like, how the fuck y'all get on the Mayweather card? That's a it's joke. on Zeus. It's on Zeus. Oh, yeah, it's but Zeus it's a real, what, Mayweather and who? I forgot who. But it's a real boxing match with a boxer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess. It's like, That's I feel like joke, yeah, anything for the money. I feel like it started out as just, oh, we finna get this bag. And now they had a real falling out. So now it's gonna go. But it's like, no shade. But Natalie keeps saying she 190 pounds. Step on the scale on lab, sister. Cause it's not giving 190 pounds. Do you more? Yes, what do you mean? Girl, was you seeing the same person I saw? And she's like 5'8". It's, that was giving 190 to you. More like 290, bitch. That was not giving 190. Like, she at, she at least two, 210 or something. Like, she ain't no 190, G. I'm sorry. There's, I can't believe it. If she's 190, I, I can't believe that. It must mostly be the chin or something, because ain't no way. I... Even Floyd Mayweather says that was questionable. Overall? Yeah, like, <laughs> come on now. Like, lying about your weight when we see it on TV is insane. Like, yes, and she's probably weight. She steady keep announcing, hold 190 pounds from the bitch. Hold 190 pounds from the get ya. Say your real, real weight, sister. Say hold two something. Hold 220 finna be on you. Like, Come on now, like be for real. Girl, I'm smaller than you and I'm 200 pounds, so I know you lying. She just made me mad, cause why would you say you 190? Now, now that you did say that 190, yeah. Right, and you 5'8", you taller than me, you bigger than me, but you weigh less than me. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, Miss 190. You know what? I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna get off this subject. Let's talk about my boy. Not even gonna say my boy because he irritates me too. <laughs> the grooving gorilla. I like him. He irritates me. But you see that they didn't got him like banned off of social media, like they got his pages deleted and stuff. Why? Because people say he just so irritating. I really like him. What you like about him? He's fun. <laughs> he's fun. Like, <laughs> he's fun. Like I don't really. I really have not seen a problem since 
Like that's his business. He's not bothering nobody. Have you saw the other dude that be like oh, yeah, with no, the that chicken? Is annoying. That he takes the cake. That's right? annoying. But this is my okay. I'm not gonna lie. The grooving gorilla dude, he irritates me. He's but a dance, man. but this is what I was gonna say. If I see his video and I don't want to see it, I just scroll past it. Hello. So it's just like me being an influencer. I feel like I may understand a little bit more. Like when you get somebody paid, yeah. disabled, like you're taking away money out of their pocket. That's like funny. this is and how it, we it's eat. It's not like he did anything or well, said yeah. anything crazy. He just dances. He eats and dances. He's not bothering no workers. Mm -hmm. He's not bothering no um people that's been at the restaurant. I you know what? His voice sound. You know what upset me the most though? I feel like people are going so hard for cancer cancel culture against him and he did nothing malicious versus people that are actually like rapists and pedophiles and all that like y'all not going that hard against it's really these people like y'all not right? stopping listening to people music because they rapists y'all really not, not stopping really buying clothing because they pedophiles y'all not stopping eating at nobody. certain restaurants because they doing this and that but y'all Ready to cancel this man because he dancing and smiling and having fun. And his name is Grooving Gorilla. That's it's ridiculous. And then the gorilla is like, a, a, and it's not, the gorilla that he's referring to. Y'all, if y'all watch Jersey Shore, they call the swole buff dudes gorilla juice heads. They're referring to his muscles, not the color of his skin, first and foremost. But it's just like when I saw that they was trying to get his page disabled or that they did get his, I'm just like, I know he probably quit his job and don't work a regular job mm -hmm. anymore, and he's like working on the influencer money so it was like i felt the same way when they got my instagram disabled i was so blue because i'm like they don't even realize how much money they taking out of my pocket like people that don't make money online will never get it i guess mm -hmm. but like that's both y'all taking food off his table like for what though like, he didn't do anything wrong what is he I, I mean, feeling so mad something wrong then you, I can understand that. You're mad. It's just because he's, he's irritating. He's dancing, bro. Right, it's literally just because, oh, this nigga annoying, like. And it's like, I feel y'all on that, though. Real life. But what I do is I just, oops, as soon as I see him, because you have a choice whether you want to watch a TikTok, watch a reel, mm -hmm. watch a video on Facebook. You have a choice whether you press play or sit there and watch it. I Literally. just keep scrolling when I, I see I him. Lie. Every time I see a new video, I press play. <laughs> You like, I be wanting to see I that. I like him. He's just having, yo, he hasn't said not a word. You don't know how that man sounds. Well, he just, he did an interview with, what's the name? Um, Funny Marco. Oh, he did? Mm-hmm. I saw that. some clips of it. It was funny. I'm gonna watch that. I like Funny Marco. But yeah, like, yeah, it's just a lot. It's just, it's just, it's just a lot. Like, the social media, like you said, the cancel culture. They try to cancel so many people. Like, like you said, they need to cancel the regular people. Like, the people that you catch in the supermarket being racist, and then you get them fired from the job. And That's not even like that. Job even, doing. like, celebrities, basketball players, rappers. Mm -hmm. Rappers get caught doing stuff. Like, rappers get caught raping people. They don't stop listening to mm -hmm. that music. Mm -hmm. The what Balenciaga or whatever just yeah. had the whole pedophile thing. They didn't stop wearing Balenciaga. They didn't go that hard to get their page deleted or canceled or nothing. Totally. Because this man is that's it. Pop lock and drop it, y'all mad. Enjoying your damn food. Like that's ridiculous. Like because I'm not gonna. I was a person that always be like, oh, he irritated me. But I would never, ever want to do something like that because it's so easy to ignore stuff like you can mute certain words mm -hmm. to not be shown on your timeline mm -hmm. like you allowing yourself to be irritated <laughs> like mm -hmm. for real because you could literally mute stuff so it's not being seen so before i make this video too long there's two more things i think it's two more things i want to talk about or at least yeah it's two more things so i want to know because i was just watching um I think it was Angela Yee lip service or something, and she was talking about this, and I was like, hmm, I wonder how other people feel about this. Do you think that exes can be friends? Yeah. If you're in a um, new relationship, though, like. Like my my immediate ex, or like. Or just an ex in general. Absolutely. But absolutely. even if you're in a current relationship. Yes. Absolutely. What do you feel like y'all would? Because like, because y'all. In a relationship, y'all are friends. Well, depending on the relationship, but mm -hmm. you a lot should of times, be friends. Yeah, you should be friends. Yeah. But if y'all are friends and y'all grown out of like for each other and out of attraction for each other, there's no reason to end that friendship because that's still a, a relationship that you have with somebody. So, do you feel like you would be cool with your boyfriend being 
Absolutely. Friends with one of his ex girlfriends. Absolutely. I just now feel like, now now this is my thing though. I would be more acceptable of it if it's an older girlfriend than his literal last one. Mm-hmm. Cause now that's like a little mm-hmm. just I'm um, too close. But if you if you had a girlfriend ten years ago. Okay, so a re- okay a recent girlfriend like not ten years ago like maybe like two years ago or something you would be cool with them going to go kick it go to dinner and hang out. Two years ago, that's very recent. <laughs> I don't know about I don't know about I don't know about going to dinner and hanging out, but like I would want to meet her obviously, of course. But well, she'll be cool with them like phone, texting, talking text. on the phone. Yeah, I would have to get the vibe though, obviously, because two years is very recent. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't with it. Two years is very recent. See me, I be cool with some of my exes, but now it's like I'm not I, I'm not I don't get in relationships a lot. That's first and foremost. Like I don't get in serious relationships a lot at all, and. I feel like now that I'm in a serious relationship, all my exes be on some like, I want you back. Well, yeah. No, so it's just like, friends. I can't be friends with that's y'all. I can't even be cool no, with y'all. No. Like, I'm not okay with you being friends with your ex that still wants you. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> what? That's crazy. I, I will have to know like, when y'all ended it, that was that. But this is still somebody I'm friends with. Like, I think, I think it's a, 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 Basis by basis type of thing. Like, everybody's yeah. different. Because with my ex-girlfriend, I was still cool with my exes. And, you know, all my ex- my exes besides her were men. Mm-hmm. And they would be on some, yeah, I'm going to get you back. And I used to be like, nah, don't disrespect her. Like, yeah, what is that? That's all you got to do. still be cool. But I feel like it's different now that I'm with a man. And men are like, I want you back. I feel like I can't even just be like, nah, don't disrespect me. I'd rather just... Not even Absolutely. let you have access don't, to me. Don't like, even, don't even I feel like it's different door. when it's a man and a man because men. No, they, they can. Men, is, men is crazy, bro. Yeah, they men, they. men, this is what they like to say. Well, you still texting me. You texting me back. You shouldn't even be texting yeah. me back. Like, you know how on Twitter when they be like, oh, um, like, let's say about somebody DM you on your story, and be like, oh, you look good, you got a man. And if you say, yeah. They, they be like, like, she shouldn't even reply. Like, what the fuck? Like, y'all wilding, bro. Yeah, like. Y'all I, so I can't be like, yeah, I got a man. So if she wasn't interested, she wouldn't have said anything at all. Like, nigga, what? Like, nigga, no, I'm letting no. you know. Right. Cut this. You, you can give me compliments all you want to, but cut the shit. Exactly. Like. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, I feel like you're right. It is kind of like a basis by basis, like yeah. situation by situation. You can feel the vibes. Like if you got an ex that's like, okay, we cool. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? We can still kick it, be mm-hmm. homies, and you not going to overstep the boundaries. And then you can tell if you got an ex that's like, Mm-hmm. Get your little yeah. drunk and try to you know, you, know, like, you you trust your your gut. Mm-hmm. That goes for men and women. You trust your gut. You feel like nah, this nigga is sneaky, or oh, I think she's sneaky. And also a thing is too though. At the same time, like how you feel about like let's say you do have somebody that's really your friend, mm-hmm. but your man or your girl really just don't feel comfortable speaking to them. But that's really a genuine friendship. Um, I had a situation like that with my ex-girlfriend. One of my exes, me and him, still was cool. Um, because we used to do, like, certain business together. You know what I'm saying? He do music, too. So, we used to do, like, certain little business and stuff together like that. But she was, like, insecure about it and didn't feel comfortable. But it's just, like, at the same time, like, you a whole... Do you think that comes from insecurity? Yeah. I've been waiting for that word. Yeah. Because that's all it could be, like... Mm-hmm. This is really my friend, but it's like I'm not about to. I feel like I'm not cutting them off if they really. But see, in her past, she had been cheated on a lot, so it's like I feel like she was bringing that energy Mm -hmm. into the new relationship. Like the oh my gosh, I don't want to get cheated on, and then it's like plus like you got to think about it. Like she went from watching me on TV and being like oh my gosh, I wish I could talk to her to actually being able to talk to me. So in her mind, she just was just like, ain't no way she gonna just not be messing mm-hmm. with other people. But it's like me, I'm very faithful. If I'm saying I'm locking in with you, I'm locking in with you because I have the choice whether I want to lock in with you. I could just stay single Literally. and still just talk to you if I uh-huh. want to. But I'm making the decisions to say, okay, we, we locked in and this is what it is. So if I'm saying that, I'm really down for you. I'm not going to be looking at nobody else, talking to nobody else, none of that. Because I wouldn't want you doing it to me. I, ever since I was little, I, my mom has always instilled in me, treat people how you want to be treated. Mm-hmm. So that I'm very big on that. Like friendships, relationships, 
business ships, whatever the case may be, I'm gonna always give the energy that I expect you to give me. So I would never, I've never cheated. Have you ever cheated before? No, I've never cheated. Like, I don't know. I feel like I would go home and cry if I cheated because I would feel so I, bad. I like, I, I can't feel, believe I, I did I that. Feel, you know, Liz, I think I would feel guilty too, but at the same time, like I said, I really think it's a base my basis thing. Because <laughs> now if you cheat, but you already kind of, sort of, like your relationship it's is already on the rocks and you kind of like you're oh, not this might care. be over with you're like, not gonna care yeah like like i've i've done so i've done something with somebody it but the, i was with somebody but that wasn't my boyfriend but we was involved with each other type shit mm -hmm. and i was already like checked out so mm -hmm. when i had they sex, say women be mentally checked out yeah first. when i had sex with the nigga it was like damn i don't even feel bad Cause I was already off you. you so me? speaking like, of sex, before we get out of here, I got one more topic that I looked at, and I want to know this because for me, I know my answer. <laughs> but is bad sex a deal breaker for you in a relationship? Like, would you be able to stay in a relationship with somebody that was not pleasing you at all sexually? <laughs> That's tough. I would try my best to figure some shit out. Toys. Like to get a robe. Teach. <laughs> Sex classes. Uh, the honey pot. What's it called? The honey pot. Because, uh, man, I was in a situation like that. <laughs> and I was in a situation where I was in a relationship with somebody that did not know how to please me at all. And I'm not a cheater, so I had to let them know, like, hey. How, if, long, did, how long did it last? It lasted some months. Like, it lasted a minute. Like, months? almost a year. Mm. So and that means you could do it. No. You did it! I was suffering. I would never but do it again. you did it, though. But I would never do it again, and I was complaining the whole time. Like, I would never do it again. It's not for me. I don't condone not pleasing you your have, partner. What you would have did if they cheated on you? How you gonna cheat on me when I please you? I know what to do. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Shoot, I know how to suck and eat a cat. I know what to do. So you better not cheat on me. I know what I'm doing. You the one who don't know how to do me. I would have to, I wish my boy had the nerve to cheat and they ain't know how to please know. me. So, now my question I is, had a conversation with them. It lasted a long time, almost a year. Did you know them before y'all became intimate? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. So, I had a conversation with them and I'm just like, hey. Hey. You know I'm not going to lie. I'm not really pleased. How many chances you gave them before you realized? I gave them, I gave them a few chances now. You're like, well, maybe they were tired. Yeah. Maybe I'm I like, hey, maybe you know. I'm, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you know, I had a conversation with you before about this, but you still not really pleasing me sexually. So how you, how would you feel about me getting a little sad piece to only do the do with? So I could be, you know. And they was not having it. They bugged up on me, baby. You but I bugging for asking. I mean, I didn't want to just go cheat. But the, why would you even ask that? Because I'm trying to let you know that I'm trying to, I still love you and I want to be with you, but I'm trying to get cracked like an egg and scrambled and poached over easy. What do you mean? I was trying to get it done. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't do that ever again. If my dad wasn't doing me how you do me, well, now it'll be I a problem. You, now that I know you experienced it, I'm going to be wrong. It was terrible. I would not. Terrible? Zero out of 10 would not recommend Yes, I'm going to tell you about it off the hill. Because if I tell you too much, they're going to know who I'm talking about. So, But anyways, you guys, this is episode 20 of T. Lucci V. We had the awesome Jazz the Rapper. I would say the usual comment below if y'all want her back. But y'all know she's the traveling pants. So I don't know when I'm going to get her back <laughs> in Chicago. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Follow us on Instagram. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Woo -woo -woo. And we out.